want to go now uh, to something that happened over the weekend that may turn out to be pertinent to what we've been talking about for the last hour. These are remarks from the President of the United States, Donald Trump, in Saudi Arabia when he addressed the question of what has gone wrong in one of the world's great religions, Islam. Here he is. Every time a terrorist murders an innocent person and falsely invokes the name of God, it should be an insult to every person of faith. Terrorists do not worship God. They worship death. This is a battle between barbaric criminals who seek to obliterate human life and decent people, all in the name of religion. It's a choice between two futures, and it is a choice America cannot make for you. Drive them out of your communities. Drive them out of your holy land. And drive them out of this earth. Rick Cornell is a former spokesman to the United Nations, and he joins us now. Uh, Rick you know, we, there, there's a lot we don't know about what apparently has just happened tonight in Manchester, 19 dead, at least 50 wounded. But those words might turn out to be directly relevant to what we're watching. Yeah, thank God we have President Trump. That's all I can say. Look at what's happening in Manchester looks purposeful. It looks like it was designed to maim and kill, and that is the definition of terrorism. So the lessons that we need to learn, Tucker, are we as Americans need to be vigilant. We need to always be ready. It can happen at any time. Europe looks like it is at the forefront of what's been happening. We've, we've seen multiple attacks now. I think publics and uh, people, whether you're in Europe or in the United States, you need to be looking for leaders who are very clear-eyed about the uh, attacks that are underway, about the war that we are in. This is a very serious situation. We must have policies that lead us towards intelligence gathering techniques so that we can do everything we can to try to stop these attacks before they happen. It's impossible to be able to do, but there are tools that we can take and policies that we can implement. The public must stand vigilant. And I think that uh, what we've seen over the last couple of days in Saudi Arabia from our president, who's on his way to Europe, I think that this president is very clear-eyed and understands the threat that we are facing. And I feel much safer with Donald Trump in charge. So we've only got about 45 seconds left, but you've, you've been around people making our policy. Do they look to Europe, do you think, as a template for what not to do here in the United States? I think what, we, what I would say is that we, we always are vigilant to learn from what's been happening, and Europe has been at the forefront. So what we need to be able to do is understand what the European leaders, whether it's in England or in, in Brussels or in Paris, what they're doing and what they're not doing correctly. We, we can learn from each other, and I think that's why we need to be sharing intel and sharing this information as it unfolds. Yes and taking a look at the lessons we can learn from over there. Rick, thanks a lot for coming on tonight.